Okay, we are out at a community-wide yard sale today. Look at all those sales on the map. Uh, we're going to see a lot of junk, but we're also going to see a lot of cool stuff. Let's go. Don't want it, but... <laughs> but that's quite all right. That only cost you a dollar. <laughs> Picked up both of these for a dollar. I'll make... Good morning. Good, how are you? Nothing super exciting so far. Selling kids here. Hello. There were a, a bunch of little kids in there, so I didn't want to record. I'll have to show you what I got later. Uh, yeah, same here. Are you going to pass my favorite? You already gave me the money. No, yeah. no. Hello, good, how you doing? I'm good, thank you. Just wanted to hop in real quick here with the voiceover. I don't want to pick up another big lot of friend stuff that I have to assemble, but this is already so well organized, it should make the rebuilding process much, much faster. We are killing it so far today. Just absolutely crushing it. I am pretty sure the, hold on, that's a weird street. I'm pretty sure the uh, Lego architecture set we picked up pays for everything we've picked up today. I think we've spent around 220 and that's what that thing goes for. So we're doing okay. We are loaded up here and loaded up back there. Just paid 13 for this He-Man vehicle, this vehicle, that Dr. Seuss thing, and this handful of He-Man stuff. Excellent price for that. Bunch of accessories. Very nice. Guess it was both. Okay, sounds good. We do consider reasonable bargains too, so if you have offers you want to make, feel free. Are the Lego bricks themselves actually gone at this point? We do not have any Lego. Oh, okay. Have, just the, the storage, storage, storage guys. guys. Yeah, we do have a vintage. I don't know if this was worth it. I actually only paid 10. Let's look it up. Yeah, not a big one, but that's okay. It's in really good shape, it'll still sell. I might get like 15 for it. So, oh well. All right, I got a buddy who's picking another side of this city, uh, like another neighborhood sale, and he says it's starting to slow down over there. Like the, the pickings aren't as good. So it's just getting to be that time of day where stuff is picked over. We're gonna go home and take a look at our loot. Making stops along the way, of course. I do. Well, glad we stopped there. Got a sealed GTA for the Xbox for two bucks. That's gonna sell for like 40, 45. There's more sales down here. I have to, right? I have to. Oops. Somehow got turned around. I've been down the street already. Whoops. I'm gonna see if I can drive up a street I haven't been down yet. 
I don't think that's possible. I think I hit everything. There's where they were selling kids. I went in there. Definitely stopped at this one. Definitely stopped at that one. This lady here, I gave her my phone number. She said she didn't have any Lego today. And I said, if you're gonna get rid of some, text me. So hopefully we hear from her. These don't look familiar. I shouldn't go to these. Let me just park over here. I accidentally forgot to flip the camera back around, but I saw a bucket of Lego. I talked the guy down to 100. Okay, it's time to stop. Time to stop, it is 12.30. We've been at this for uh, about four and a half hours. And uh, I'm getting hungry. So, let's go home. Total damage, $553. And uh, we've already made that back plus some um, in the two days I've been back posting stuff. So here's just a general overview of what was grabbed. Uh, somebody had a bunch of like fantasy type books. Not all of them are winners, but you know, when he's selling them for a dollar or two a piece, you kind of just grab whatever looks interesting. Um, there's a whole bunch right there. He let me have those Wii games basically for free. Uh, we'll look at them closer here. Yep. And as you can see, there's some really, really good ones in here. Uh, and some of them have sold already. The condition of them isn't fantastic, so I'm having to take the time to like actually put them in the Wii and make sure they work. Uh, I might play through Bounty Hunter before I sell it, because I don't think I've ever played it. Really good games in here. Spider-Man sold already, and uh, Wii Sports sold already, so. Not bad at all. Over here, just a bunch of PS4 games. PS4 games generally aren't that desirable, but again, the price was right. Um, that Legend of Zelda game sold already. Got this McDonald's thing. These uh, mud flaps right here with Yosemite Sam are like worth a hundred bucks. I paid a dollar for them, which is just absolutely bonkers to me. And here's a bunch of Magic the Gathering stuff. The Barrel of Monkeys is from like 1960 something. And it's worth like 20 bucks. So I paid a dollar for it. More PS4 games. And a sealed copy of Smash Bros. Not bad. I think I paid five for that. Maybe 10. Over here, some more cool comic stuff. And some sealed Lego. I paid too much for these Switch games, but because I was able to get a couple books for free because I paid full price, so it ended up working out in the long run. And those sold already, the one through six books of uh, Angel for like $100. So we're doing okay. <laughs> Still got this Lego set sitting around. Nobody's picked that up yet. And it will go for about twice what I paid for it. So not a huge money maker, but good enough. Another sealed set. This was my favorite find of the day because I collect clones and there's some clones in there. Paid a dollar each figure. Got some extra Star Wars stuff we'll post on Bricklink. And yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, that, was, uh, that was cool. I learned a lot doing this video as far as like, it's hard for me, I record on my phone. I don't have like a GoPro strapped to me or anything. So when I approach a sale, I got in the habit of like stopping recording because I'm trying to like use my hands. So I think in the future, I'm gonna have to get like a, a GoPro strap or something uh, as the channel continues to grow if I wanna make good videos. Because right now the awkwardness of like 
trying to handle something and record on my phone. It's just not working. But I hope it was still interesting enough for you to watch. I hope, uh, I hope it was fun. It was certainly fun for me. That was a good day. I probably had another like 10 minutes of footage that I ended up cutting uh, just because when you have that many sales, you end up walking by a ton because it's just like household goods and you know stuff that's useful, just not stuff that I'm after necessarily. But uh, hit that like and subscribe button. I'll catch you all in the next video and take care of yourself.